Hello everyone, my name is Master Samurai and welcome back for more Let's Play Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Don't think I didn't see you emoting there and sticking your tongue out at me, you weird little Spongeball thing there. Last time we finished up over in Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. There's only one more main world we have left in the game. Hold on. Okay, sorry, my... So, okay. Sorry, something. It seemed like something was up with my uh, pro controller there, unless I'm just hitting stuff ever so slightly there. But um, yeah, we finished up here in Flying Dutchman's graveyard. There's only one main world we have left to explore here, and that would be SpongeBob's dream. Let's go ahead and get this one started. Nice, nice, good screen transition. You couldn't just have it perfectly fade to black during the time where SpongeBob was like closing his eyes there. No, sorry. You just couldn't have had that. With sleep comes dreams. What mischief can be found in this sub aquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you <laughs> doing here? Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then, first thing I'm gonna do is dream myself up a mustache. Meow. Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more <laughs> rugged, doesn't it? Meow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Meow. Meow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Meow. I'm ready. Meow. Poor yes, Gary. Gary, I'll be careful. <laughs> All right. This world is kind of a beast. Um it's definitely the last definitely definitely a last world for a reason. Even though ironically enough you don't need any um spatulas to enter this, so I can see that went way smoother than it ever should have there, but okay. Oh shoot. I do want to get up there. Um Oh okay. I I love the idea that there's one of these assholes here. Um don't hit me with that. I know you're gonna grow your shield back in time before I can hit you again. No. Okay. Now as long as Okay, whew. Um I can't hit this from the main platform here, can I? Because I feel like that's kind of what the game is wanting me to do here. Yes, I can. Oh, freaking... Right, I think I remember this here. Yeah, you... There's this big ball here, you'll want it to not roll... ...all the way down at the very... Come on, really? Well, at least I didn't I didn't fall all the way down. Did I activate that one? I didn't activate that one box. Crap. Um This is for a spatula too. I just I don't really want to do that like first block segment again though. Um No my luck, I'm probably gonna have to at some point, but oh come on. Yeah, this level is kind of a beast in its own right. Like there's nothing like the um, smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. There's gonna be a lot of like individual little side areas. And come on, why am I... It's already obnoxious enough trying to hit this thing. There we go. Why? 
why why is my momentum seriously eaten up there like i got no vertical momentum from that whatsoever and i do not remember that being an issue at all in fact uh, i heard one of the things in the recent patch was apparently they fixed some of the weird vertical momentum issues in this but i don't know if that really applies to this or not so I feel like I need to use the bash move to get all the way up there. I feel like that's the only way I can get up there. Thank God! Wow! That was way more annoying than it ever should have been. I really don't want to do this, but I don't really freaking... I know I have to do this awful segment again, but like, at least having the box open will give some sort of shortcut so meet you guys back in a second hopefully i don't die because if i do then i have to fight that one slick slick guy again <sighs> that was close <sighs> okay all right back up this way here i've played enough spongebob movie to feel somewhat comfortable with those segments just because there's a lot of those in that game so yeah we're good to finally progress onward here um don't even want to think about that right now i don't even think i can think about that right now but all right uh no i'm just heading in here before i deal with that garbage <laughs> Because I have one hit away from death there. I guess there is a checkpoint right there, but... Alright, into Sandy's Dream here. This area is very, very big. Very involved. Probably the most involved part oh, of this wow. entire area. Your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big. Even dreams. <laughs> then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing a four-lane highway. All right. Uh, we can switch to SpongeBob here. I don't think there's much point. Do I still only have one hit here? Yes. Let's get a lot of shiny objects here. So why the heck not? We're gonna need a lot of shiny objects in this level here. Um, I actually really like this slide, though, because unlike the last couple, which were kind of garbo, this one, you are not timed at all, so it's pretty much just a get-to-the-end kind of thing. There are, I believe, three lost socks in this area, though, which is kind of a lot. So, yeah, it's going to be a little bit... It's gonna be a little bit annoying trying to look for all those, but we'll we'll get through her. I have a vague idea where some of them are anyway. I think we're actually coming up on close to the area with one of them here. Cause if you head over this way, we have plankton. I can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Hello, plankton. That's what I need—a creature with a backbone. Ah, uh, sure. Who puts challenges in their own dreams? Squirrels? We're tough like that. <laughs> oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. I could do it in my sleep. You are asleep. As I said, in my sleep. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? I don't know, Plankton. I don't know. Um, I don't believe there's anything too radical about that there, but... We do have an area here. This is gonna suck! 
Again, I'm still not the most used to the new physics with these here, so it is a little bit... Oh, freaking Jesus, seriously? I'm gonna get shot at by projectiles here because there's a million freaking enemies around here. Nope. I need, I want this health here. There is a... Okay, come on. I need to get this... Oh. I need to get both these freaking assholes out of the way here, because they're both annoying ranged enemies here, but I would like this health first. Please give me that health. Thank you. And just this guy left. You're not so bad on your own. And was that it for that? Yes, indeed it is. But, it's not it for this area, though. Because, if we head all the way around here... There is, in fact, a lost sock around the corner here. I do remember that. I remember that being one of the ones I missed in my, like, first run-through of my original LP, so that's why... I always kind of remembered it being back there. And that is two-thirds of the spatulas, which is... Or not two-thirds, three-quarters. Excuse me. So we're coming across along very, very close to the end here. This is... Not gonna take too much longer of a Let's Play. Like, we're gonna be done with the main LP in... Then by the end of next week, I think, actually. Um, I think that is it for everything in that area, though. Yeah, I do. I, I mean, also, it helps that we're playing as Sandy right now, who has the lasso to help get around stuff easier. But yeah, I don't find this area nearly as bad as the any of the last few slides, especially not the one in Kelp Forest. So, for a final slide, they kind of went out on top, I think. It also just doesn't hurt that this area is really cool looking in general. Checkpoint. This would have been a nightmare if they put a time trial challenge here, but very surprisingly they didn't. And I'm kind of glad they didn't, honestly. I don't think there's anything over that way there. Uh, great, we're going to start dealing with cows throwing pies at us now, though. Thanks. Oh, here's another sock here, actually. Okay, there is one more in this area. I just... Like, not, not this specific small area here, but there is one more in Sandy's Dreams, so... There's five socks in the level in total, so... I don't really remember where the last one is. I know it's... I know where there's at least one in one of the other dreams, but besides that, I'm not 100% sure. But... We're in a good spot otherwise, besides that. Um... Yeah, this, uh, this that'll just send me backwards. I don't think I really want to be... Wait, hold on. Where does this take me? Oh, okay, all the way up there. Ew. So I guess people could have passed over this area if they weren't careful, so that's Bam. not too bad, though. This area is a little on the long side, I think it's big enough here. Okay, I think we're kind of near the end of this place, or starting to get near the end. I don't know why there's so much turds in this place, but... Oh well, I couldn't think of a better joke for Texas, I guess. Could have at least put some Pantera in here, you know, but... Oh well. Or at least some ZZ Top or something. <laughs> I 
don't know, I'm just making stupid jokes that wouldn't even make sense really, but... I don't know about you, but I think we're pretty near the end of this area. I just wish I remember where that one sock that I don't have right now was. Um, I'm gonna scour the area really quickly and see if I can find that, because I do believe there are three socks in this area. You can also, that's how you would get it with Spongebob there, is that pathway there. I keep seeing this upper path here, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, hold on. How did I not hit that one thing up that way? That was really, really out of the picture. I don't know why this... That... One thing was like super, super... Out of sight there, but it just kind of was. And that is in fact the third sock in that area. So, I think we're pretty much done with Sandy's dream here, so... I'm gonna just kind of warp to the beginning of this area, so I don't really need to deal with it too much. And I know this is a bit of a weird spot to end this video off, but I think we're probably gonna call it here, surprisingly. I know this is a bit of a shorter one, I realize, but, um... This world's layout is kind of like Mount Slide in a way, where there's like four main sections, I believe. And we've kind of done about two of them. Um, we have about almost half the objectives, and yeah, so I don't know about you, but I think it's actually just overall a good spot to call it there. Um, it is a little bit of a shorter one. In my original LP, I did this whole video, this whole world in one video, but that video was like 45 minutes long, and I just kind of want to call it at a decent spot. So, thank you for watching. I've been Master Sermon, and I'll see you guys next time, where we finish up SpongeBob's dream. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.